Stephen Vogt to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Certainly has a chance to be the final big league at bat for Stephen Vogt. Vogt drives one. Right field. Did he do it? He did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. Well, we asked for one more heroic moment from Stephen Vogt, and he gave it to us. That's how it had to happen. That is how it had to happen. That's just unbelievable. So here's Altuve. He's 0 for 3. Has a home run and four career at bats against Luizica. Line shot. Oh, what a pick. Flip to the back. Throw the first of the pick. Oh. Pick City. My goodness. Double play. Wow. What a double play. Altuve hit an absolute bullet. And Glaber Torres, I don't know how he did it. The ball exploded at his feet. He had a quick glove, quick hands, made the grab, and then started the double play. Well, the stage is set, and he has certainly handled center stage very well so far this year with 27 home runs. Driven down the left field line. It is a base hit. It goes into the corner, and the Yankees have done it again. The Yankees win. Aaron Hicks ties with a three-run home run in the ninth boy if that's not an exciting game i mean that was fabulous that was fabulous and he's got the field going right now two quick outs to start this half of the second inning oh and he struck him out immaculate struck out the side in order right there and did not throw many pitches that's an immaculate inning right there terry nine pitches nine strikes yes inning over boy He's had a no-hitter this season, and now an immaculate inning. So he is eight for eight. Pitches, eight strikes. Swing and a miss. How about nine pitches, nine strikes, and he whiffs the side. Angel De Los Santos with an impressive inning. When he throws nine pitches, and you get nine strikes, they call that now an immaculate inning. Well, he came right out of the chute. He used just about everything. I've seen a change up in there as well. Helsley, eight strikes on eight pitches. The 0-2. He struck out the side. Nine pitches. Helsley, what a night. Nine pitches, nine strikes. And the Cardinals take game two. Six to five over the Reds, an immaculate ninth inning. Nine pitches. Nine strikes. Helsley gets the save. Stratton the win. Two outs. All loaded up for Goldie. The one-two. Goldschmidt hits it out to left, and this will do it. And he does it in grand style. It's a grand slammer. A walk-off grand slam home run for Paul Goldschmidt. And he is being mobbed at the plate. I mean mobbed at the plate. In the air to right. Low will drift back. Low doesn't see it. Low lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be went home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. Save. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. Well, I can tell you this, if this is his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. And neither will the fans here in Baltimore. 2-0 pitch, Suzuki gets a hold of one. Back that goes, off the wall and left center, and a good ricochet for Seiya, heading for third. They're going to wave him in. Suzuki heads for home, the throw to the plate, not in time. Suzuki touches them all, and the Cubs grab a 2-1 lead off of Josh Hader. Oh, man, was that fun. Just spectacular. Suzuki fresh off the IL, gets into a Hader fastball, and plays a little pinball with the center field wall. Here, for the first time in postseason history, brothers face off pitcher, hitter. Aaron Nola against Austin Nola. Little brother against big brother. That's a chopper to third. Bones got it. And Little Bro wins the first battle of this postseason matchup.
Now with one out, and Austin Nola will be the batter. Aaron against Austin, with Austin representing the tying run. One of them headed to the World Series. There goes Kim, and a base hit to right center. Kim is headed home. Austin Nola gets his little throw for a three game. Bittersweet here. I don't even know how to react. Two in scoring position. Two balls and two strikes. Corner move to center field. Padres take the lead. Kim is in. Here comes Soto. Off the mound. 5 3 Padres. A five run rally capped by Cronenworth to give the Padres the lead. Great base running goes first. He ends up at second base. To the Soto shuffle, normally in the batter's box. It got him an extra run as he shuffled the second. The throw hits the mound. He scores easily. This place is going crazy. I fly ball. Right field and deep. Going back judge. He's on the track. He's at the wall. He leaps. And he makes the play. <laughs> oh, what a play by Aaron Judge. What a highlight reel he's putting together this year. You see the snow cone at the top of his glove? You know, Judge may have just robbed Melendez of a home run. It helps to have a right field in the 6-7. Now it's up to Josh Naylor. <laughs> in the ninth inning, tied it with a grand slam just to the right of center. He clobbers another one. Deep right field. Back his angle. He's out of room. Guardians. Brown hits it deep to center field. Alec Thomas. He got it. Oh, my. he got it. Alec Thomas has got that one. There was a little speck of white in the glove. And he is fired up. What a way to end it. <laughs> For the interim skipper, Jeff Bannister. 6 0 your final. Alec Thomas finished with a flourish. This one into deep center field. Cameron still going back. He leaps and he's got it up against the wall. Daz Cameron stole it and turns it into a double play. Whoa, baby, was that special. Inning ending double play. What a play by Daz Cameron. Wow. He timed his jump at the top of the wall perfectly. And the runner on first hedges was all the way to second and easily doubled off. We're on cycle watch here for Austin. He's a double away. That ball's belted left center field by Hayes. It's over the head of Thomas. It will score Nevin. It will score Mateo. And I, there's no way Austin's thinking about three. He's going to pull up easily into second. Austin Hayes hits for the cycle in four at bats. Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken, Aubrey Huff, Felix P.A., Jonathan VR and now Austin Hayes have hit for the cycle for the Orioles. Aaron Walsh now will bat. He has a chance to hit for the cycle. He has a single, double, and homer. Hasn't had a triple this year, had just one last year. Driven to center. Is it going to get down? Oh, look out! Look out! It gets to center field. He's going to do it. He's in there. What a game! The cycle for Jared Walsh, and look at his teammates. Well, that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar, who has had the biggest night of any bet. He's driven in four of the Mets' seven runs a two run single in the first, a two run homer in the eighth, a double in the fourth in between, triple, and he would have the cycle. And Escobar shoots one down the right field line toward the corner, and it's beyond the reach of Mazzara. Alonso is in to score. Canner right behind him. It's going to be a triple for Escobar. Uh -huh. He's got the cycle. Eduardo Escobar with two more RBIs, six for the night, and he has hit for the cycle. The first bet in 10 years to have a single, double, triple, and home run in the same game. 
hooking toward the gap. Buxton over and a leaping catch and the warning drag. Oh, what a catch by Byron Buxton. I didn't think there was a chance in the world that he would get there. That ball had some hook on it. Oh boy, Buxton right on the warning track. Leap was in the air for about 10 feet. Bregman and Tucker aboard. First pitch to Guriel in the air, right center field, hit pretty well. Rodriguez on the run, and Rodriguez makes a great catch. Bregman will tag and go to third. Oh my goodness. The ground he covered off the charts. Julio Rodriguez kicking it into fifth gear to make this play. Wow, you talk about covering some ground. Watch Rodriguez right here. And then Man. gets it back in. No one Bregman's going to tag to get to third, but catches the all-important second out. That was something. Julio Rodriguez was full throttle. Astros thought they had one in the gap. And Rodriguez breaks their hearts. He was flying. 3-2 pitch. In the air, deep left center field, hit well. Rodriguez on the run, and it is gone! Oh, Jeremy Pena sends one to the seats, and the Astros lead one to nothing in the 18th inning. This kid is the real deal himself. What a moment. 3-2, got a fastball, and connected. 415 feet, 105 off the bat. Tapia up for the third time. Sends a drive to deep center, but where is it? And it's over, way over the head of Duran, who never saw it. He never saw it. Tapia round third, heading home. And inside the park, grand slam for Rymel Tapia. Raise your hand if you think you were deep by the center fielder. <laughs> JT Real Muto, then Harper, then Castellanos. Fly to center field. Harris on the move, still going. Michael Harris can't get there. And Real Muto can run for days. JT on his way to third. He looks for it inside the Parker. And the catcher has won. Inside the park home run for JT Real Muto, and the Phillies lead 4-1. With the speed of Real Muto, almost the easiest inside the park home run you're going to see. Kimball delivers, fly ball, right field, headed toward the corner, long run from Betts, and he makes a diving catch to end the game. Mookie Betts with the game-winning three-run home run in the bottom of the eighth. Saves the game in the ninth with a diving catch. Robin Peterson to end the game. Nine to six. Mookie Betts. The Dodgers. Boy, when you're hot, you're hot. They've now won five consecutive games. There's a drive out to deep center field. Grisham going back at the wall. Oh, and makes the catch in center. Trent Grisham, the Gold Glove center fielder, goes back, times the link, and reels it in. Trent Grisham up and over the fence in center field to take away a home run and end the top of the second inning. Oh, what a play. Timed it perfectly, got back to the wall, and that is just pure athleticism. Trent Grisham with the play of the year defensively here early on for the Padres. So it's already been a great night for Trevor Story. He has a pair of home runs. Pair of two run shots. One, oh. two, high drive. He's done it again. Trevor Story cleans him off. His third home run of the ball game. Goodness gracious. And that is what a seven RBI night looks like right there. <laughs> and a roller. Cruz. Whoa, oh, my goodness. How about oh, that arm? Cub fans who are watching this will think about Sean Dunstan. Yep. That was a clothesline, and Chavis could be thinking, wow, that was a laser. Tough, tough ball to his backhand. Picks it clean and just comes up absolutely firing. 
whacks it to right field. That is going to hit hard off the wall. Look at that. Bounce right back to Acuna, who barehands it off the wall in a split second. 122.4 miles an hour. Wow. That is a missile. That sure was. That was loud. Unfortunately, just didn't quite have the launch angle to tie this thing up. Wow. And he drives it deep into left field. Lowe's going to go to the wall. He's going to leap. He got it. Lowe got back there and made the catch. Boy, that ball had a concerning trajectory to it from the Rays' point of view when Anderson belted that one. And Josh Lowe got back to the wall and made that leaping grab. Albert hits it down the left field line. Number 703. It's history. RBIs, number 2,000. 215 and 16. He's passed Babe Ruth, second all time in history, and runs batted in. A historic blast, number 703. He's now all alone on the all time RBI list. And Jack Sawinski bidding for a three home run game. If he gets it, the Pirates win it. Oh no. In the air to right. This is deep. And he did it again. Jack Wins it for the Pirates. Three home runs in a game for the Pirates rookie. You never know what you're going to see, and we just saw it. With three home runs, only Andrew McCutcheon had ever done that. A Pirates rookie with three home runs in a game. Jock Peterson has hit two home runs tonight. Two run shot to right in the third, and a two run blast over the center field wall in the fifth inning. That one is wet, and this game is tied. We may not have seen one quite like that since Barry Bonds used to cavort here. Dodge at the tying run. Brendan Rodgers will face Cole Sulcer. He's had a great night with two home runs and a walk and three runs scored. High fly, deep left. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Two-run walk-off winner. Brendan Rodgers, his third of the day. A day he will never forget. It's his third home run tonight, and it's a walk-off, two-run shot. How about this? The Rockies come back in 10 innings and win it 13 to 12. To right field, Springer back. He's got it! by Springer. When that ball left the bat, I didn't think he had any shot at making that catch. This is just his second start in right field, but he keeps his eye on it and looks it into his glove. Ground ball towards the middle. Wong gloves, flips to Adamas. There's one, there's two. Sensational double play. Turn between Wong and Adamas. Can't do it any better. The defense has been on fire. Colton Wong with the glove flip. Adamas showing off the bazooka that he carries around. Man, that is a pitcher's best friend. That right there, it saves your outing. It saves what's coming next. And there's a ground ball towards the middle. Diving stab by Wong. There's one throw to first, not in time. Boy, that was set up to be a spectacular play. The fact the Brewers got one was great enough. Let's watch this glove work by Wong. Let's watch it over and over and over again. Incredible. He's not just flashing leather, he's flashing gold leather. High fly ball, deep left center field, Profar going back, and he dives to make the catch in left center field. Profar reels it in, back by the 399 he ran a mile to get out there to make that catch. 
Gerritsen wow. sliding feet first in front of the 399 marker, and he makes the play to end the inning. So far was maybe the best defensive play of the season so far for the Padres. Keeps this game as is. Line drive to Miranda, a double play, and a triple play. A bullet off the bat of low, and Miranda turned it into one out, then two, throwing to Correa for the third out. And how about three? Uno, dos, tres, triple play. Top of the order for the Phils, Kyle Schwarber. And it is a breaking ball. Schwarber was ready. How far does this go? Second deck, Kyle Schwarber tees off. Two nothing Phillies. Wow. Deep to right field. Titanic shot into the second deck. Wow. The Phillies take a two nothing lead. That was as long a home run as you're going to see here at Petco Park. Ready to run in scoring position for the rookie Jeremy Payne. Fly ball off the end of the bat. Short right field. Castellanos saves the day and sends game one to the 10th. Shades of Atlanta as Nick Castellanos lays out and he keeps the Astros off the board here in the bottom of the ninth inning. So six straight games with a home run for this man, Mike Trout. Driven to center field, Mike Trout hit it well. Looking to tie this up, he does. Seven straight games with a home run for the kid, Mike Trout. 4-4 here in Cleveland. That scenario worked perfectly. Trout, seven in a row games for the home run. 35th home run of the year, Mike Trout. Red hot. That one is drilled deep to left center field. On the run is Lo Castro. He dives and he makes the play. Oh, what a play by Lo Castro. He saved an extra base hit and he saved the run. Tim Lo Castro, his first game with the Yankees this year, just made a heck of a catch in deep left center, right near the bullpen wall. And he dove and caught the ball on the track. Not a heck of a catch. Myers ends up in third, and a butt put down by Grisham. What a play by Gratterall. He gets the out at home. What a play by the Dodger pitcher for the second out of the sixth. Do you love defense? You're in the right spot in game two. Now what a play. Bruce Dark Gratterall. A butt down the third baseline. The runner, Myers, coming home. Sprinting toward the line, picked it up, barehanded, threw sidearm to the plate, and Will Smith tagged him out. What a play by Granarol. 117 mile an hour, ninth inning, game tying home run. Here comes Suarez. Giddy up, baby! Giddy up! Giddy up! And the Mariners win this ball! game would be in the balance here and Byron Buxton is coming up in the 10th and the pitch is swinging a drive left field and deep back it goes deep it goes twins win twins win the Minnesota twins win it who else Byron Buxton game winner and the twins sweep the White Sox Buxton game ender Three run, 10th inning shot, and the Twins sweep the White Sox. Aaron Judge is the winning run. It's 5 3 Toronto in the ninth inning with one out. And the 1 2. Drill deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. Up for grabs. There's his walk off home run, and the Yankees have come back to win it. 6 to 5. Oh, man. What a blast by Judge. Bases loaded. Donaldson comes up, and he's the winning run at the plate. High fly ball. Deep right. Going back to Rosarena. See ya. A walk-off grand slam for 
Josh Donaldson, and the Yankees pull victory from the jaws of defeat. What a big win for the New York Yankees. That's Josh, by gosh. And doing it with a notch, a grand slam, and the Yankees get a win. Oh, did they need that win. Drive toward the left field line. Juan trying to get to it and foul ground, reaching into the crowd. Did he hang on to it? He did. He made the catch. That was incredible. What an effort by Stephen Kwan, risking his body going into the crowd down the left field line to make a sensational catch as Kwan hurled himself into the crowd. He left the field of play. He launched himself into the seats. Yeah, I mean, that was a crazy, super athletic play right there. Deep left. Kwan. by Stephen Kwan, and the Guardians maintain the lead. But George just continues to throw strikes and pound that strike zone. George Kirby has just set an all-time record dating back to when this data began to become first public available. Since 1988, no pitcher has ever thrown 22 consecutive strikes to begin a ball game. George Kirby's the first ever. It ends at 24. 24 consecutive strikes thrown by George Kirby to begin the ball game. That's pretty phenomenal. Oh. There it is, number 200, right on by. Nothing but pure heat, staying behind the baseball. Gas on the outside corner at 99. That is strikeout number eight for Spencer Strider. And that is number 200 on the season. First modern era Braves rookie to reach 200 strikeouts. And now Tampa Bay with runners at first and third. Two down in the 12th. And again, no score in this ball game. And the batter coming to the plate will be Manuel Margot. A swing and a bouncer toward third. Backhand by Ramirez. Foul ground throw to first. Scoop by Naylor. He got him. A backhanded grab by Ramirez going to the line. Falling in the foul ground. One-hop throw to first. A great scoop by Naylor. That's a base hit, oh. I believe. No, it's not. How about that? Well, his play was better than my call, and that's some amazing range and finishing action by C.J. Abrams. Unbelievable to his right. Abrams robs Baum with a spectacular diving backhand play and a rocket shot across on one bounce to get the out. That may be his finest play with the Nationals. That's the best play by a National shortstop this year, as far as I'm concerned. What a play, Nick Allen. Gets up, spins, throws. Got him, what a play. That will be a contender for play of the year. I am with you. Sensational pick job by Nick Allen. Watch this. This is definitely worth another look. Are you kidding me? What a play by Nick Allen. Deep in the hole does a full 360 spin. Comes up firing right on the money. That was spectacular by the A's rookie shortstop. As this ball is driven to right. And a leaping try at the wall. Did he get it? He got it. Great catch Guillermo Heredia. Tip of the cap from Ian Anderson over the wall to bring that one back. And McNeil can't believe it. He <laughs> caught it. Bring that thing back. Guillermo to the top of the wall says not today. Oh, what a catch. What a catch, Guillermo Heredia. If it wasn't going to leave, Joe, it's going to hit off the top of the wall. The one, two. And this is in the air. Out to the alley in right center. And wide lays out. And he makes a spectacular catch. And Eli White has done it again. <laughs> Even his manager looks amazed. Well, I think, what a grab. Have, I think he's going to have the play of the week again. This is absolutely outstanding. What a tremendous route to get to this baseball. That's uh, swatted up the middle. Spear with a backhand by Jimenez. What a play. The turn two. 
Jimenez Anderson on to first. A sparkling double play. Holy cow. Man. Jimenez on the backhand gobbled it up, flipped it behind his back to Tim Anderson, who stepped on second, fired offline to Guerrero, who put the tag on Machado, and it goes 4 6 3. Holy cow. That's into right field. It'll hang in the air long enough for Ward to make a catch. Tagging up and heading to third is Green. Throw there. It's in time to get him. Put that one on the highlight reel. Taylor Ward's second assist of the series. And a lot of times an outfielder can have a strong arm. It's how quickly he gets rid of that baseball. Sometimes guys with good arms take a while to get rid of it. Taylor Ward just gets rid of it quickly. 2-2 right back up the middle speared by Baez and he flips to Candelario for the out at second. Oh what a dazzling play by Javier Baez. That was destined for center but not with him up the middle. The awareness of knowing where second base is as he's diving to his right he knocks the ball down it pops out of his glove. He knows that Candy's going to get over there to cover the bag and without even hardly looking he flips it between his legs. <laughs> oh my, that's big league right there. Oh, you bet. Shohei Otani coming off a couple of good outings. Same what he did last night and what he's able to do on the bump. And he strikes out the side. Does he feel it or what? He knew that baseball was a strike out of his hand. You talk about a guy willing this team to give him a chance to win. It's the master at work. Career high strikeouts, 12 for Otani, done twice. It is in there. A career high. 13 strikeouts for Shohei Otani. How about a little Baker's does it, Shohei? Remember, the night before, he had eight RBIs. Last night, he goes for 13 Ks. He is the only player in history oh. in, that in a season, since 1920, since they started tracking this stuff, to have at least eight RBIs and 13 strikeouts as a pitcher. He did it in back-to-back -back days. 2-2 to Swanson. Struck him out. And there's the record. 1,518 strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom, the most ever for a pitcher in his first 200 major league starts. Wow. Congratulations and a wicked slider. His signature pitch. One of them. <laughs> With that strikeout, DeGrom passes you, Darvish, for the most ever by a pitcher in his 200th career game. Mr. Brown pitches number 200 today. Only five pitchers have had a lower ERA than DeGrom to this point. 3 2. That's a fly ball to right center. Mullins got a perfect jump, and he made a perfect catch. That is as good as it gets. Andrew Vaughn with a helmet tip to the amazing flying man in center field. Diving to his left in the right center field alley, and all Vaughn can do is take his helmet off and tip his cap to Cedric Mullins, who entertains while going over in a right center field. Here's Soto. A little flare. Kemp out, and Kemp dives, and he caught it. Gets it back in. And what a play by Tony He went airborne. Airborne, he flipped. He, I'm not even, I mean, that's going to make a contortionist squirm. This is, this is freakish. I mean, that's fully laying out over his shoulder. And that turn at the end, he's going into this roll here. You see him brace himself with that throwing arm to kind of soften the blow. What an athletic play. Yeah. Grounded and Witt is going to come to the plate and out and home plate. Wow, talk about reflexes. High baseball IQ. You got it. Athleticism. This ball gets through and even a bad throw. Cleveland's up. Look at this. Takes him off balance. He throws him a knee. Got it quickly to Salvi. Kept the ball down. So he was able to get there quickly. And Salvi puts the tag on it. That might be the play of the year. 
This one is lifted down the left field line into the A's bullpen. Josh Smith, long way to run, and what a play by Josh Smith. Now, Nick Allen will tag and score easily, but for a guy who was making just his second start in left field in his career at any level, that was an incredible play by Josh Smith. He did make the catch. What a play by Josh Smith. Are you kidding me with that catch? Smith just sacrificed his body racing through the Oakland bullpen and making a diving catch. Left center field, long run Springer. He got it! How about that play from George Springer? What a play! George Springer airborne snatches it out of the sky. There's a Rogers Center highlight that'll live forever. George Springer with an incredible diving grab. In the gap, he comes up, pumped up. In the air to center, Alec Thomas in pursuit at the wall. Oh, he got it! Alec Thomas takes a home run away from Joey Votto. Jolene, Jolene. A larcenous leaping catch from Thomas. And he takes away Votto's sixth home run of the season. You won't see a finer catch than that all season long. In the center from Connor Falefa. Mullen's got a good jump. He will collide with Mateo. And Mateo caught it ridiculously. What a play by Jorge Mateo. Mullins went into a slide. It went off the glove, up into the air for Jorge Mateo, and Mateo reeled it in and somehow held on. A zero in hits column for the Phillies with three more outs to obtain. Edwin Diaz will try to secure those three outs, and the Mets will tighten up their defense behind him. Nearly 10 years after the Mets' only no hitter. Every time you go into a year, you want to have that special year with special events that happen, special things that propel you to a championship. And this would represent another glimpse of great things happening in the month of April. One, two coming. Struck him out. Nasty slider, foul tipped for the first down of the night. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. He got him with a slider. Two men away. Real Muto, like the two guys before him, have great numbers against Diaz. And the Yankees are down to their final out. Astros pitchers have thrown eight and two thirds, no hit innings. And Giancarlo Stanton is the Yankees' final hope. Ground ball towards third. Two hops for Bregman. And the Astros have done it again in Yankee Stadium. A combined no hitter. Christian Javier goes seven. Hector Neris goes one. Presley finishes it off with a one, two, three, ninth inning. The Yankees no hit for the first time in 19 years since the Astros did it with six pitchers on June 11, 2003. Jackie Bradley Jr. pops it up. Long run for Cabrera. And he made the play. Oh, he made the play. That's what a great play. I mean, knowing that you're going to hit the tarp, and it looks like he smacked his head going forward. But tell you what, this little guy has given his all since he's been here. That is a full sprint. Wow. Fly ball deep to the gap and right center off the bat of Bregman. That's trouble. On the run, Riley Green dives, and he made the catch. Riley Green does it again, lays out on the track in deepest right center. What a play. I thought that ball was up the gap, but he ran it quickly and put it into another gear. Wow. Another highlight play for Riley Green. Just an incredible effort in right center field. Had no business catching that ball, but he makes another spectacular grab. Andrew Vaughn puts a charge into one. Same spot as Moncada. Riley Green leaps up and pulled it back. Oh. One of the best catches you will ever see. And it comes from Riley Green stealing a homer away from Andrew Vaughn. Wow, leaping at the fence. He takes a two-run home run away from.
from Vaughn Watercat. Wow. Are you kidding me? That's as good as it gets. Time to jump two feet up and over the wall. There's a flare to right center. Riley Green got to go jump. Oh, did he pull that in? He did. <laughs> Superman dive and Riley Green makes one of the best plays of the season. Riley Green lays out. Wow. Riley Green flies through the air with a backhand grab and takes extra bases away. I mean, he is fully extended on a diving play on a, on a ball going away from him. Oh, man. I mean, that, that might be up there for running a catch of the year. High chopper, Arnato, bare hands, throws, pick, got him! It's amazing! It's amazing! Arnato and Goldie again! Are you kidding me with these two? That's the only play you can make. Look at Goldie's face. He is amazed by this play as well. Has to go with the bare hand and throw a rocket. Oh, wow. Hey, Dylan, I just want to let you know that Dylan Carlson's about to be the next hitter. First three guys, three guys in front of you just hit home runs. No pressure, though. No pressure. Or Molina, they're both going to try to compete here tonight. They're going to celebrate 325 games as battery mates. Yadier Molina and Adam Wainwright have set the all-time record. They have made the most starts as battery mates in the history of Major League Baseball, number 325, linked together through friendship and linked together as brothers. On the mound, Fromber Valdez. Big start for Fromber Valdez. We talked about how he knows this streak that he is on. He has worked for it. It worked extremely hard in between starts to make sure he's in position to throw at least six innings in every start that he goes out there, and he's proven to be a workhorse for Dusty Baker. And he gets a third. Fromber Valdez strikes out the side. And that curveball continues to play. 24 consecutive starts like that, especially in a day and age when pitchers don't always Go deep into starts, and nobody goes deeper into a start in the American League than Fromber. 11 to 2, and Fromber Valdez with a major league record 25 consecutive quality starts. Garcia with the 0 2. An immaculate nice. inning. Nine pitch, three strikeout. Rarely happens in baseball. Luis Garcia, an immaculate inning and a fist pump on his way to the dugout. One. Strike away from another immaculate inning. He yes! did it! That was incredible! You've got to be kidding me! Two, two immaculate innings! Two of them! In one game! That has to be a new Major League mark. That could not have ever happened before.
Phil Maton is thrilled as he walks <laughs> off the mound. Luis Garcia just got matched by Maton. Same three guys. Unreal. The left field chased by Gordon on the track and wow. Did Buxton catch that ball? Oh my goodness, he did. Incredible. Cutting behind Gordon and making a tremendous catch. With a smile oh on his face. Oh my goodness, that might be his <laughs> best ever. That pitch is out over the plate and hit the deep center field. Taylor is at the track, he's at the wall, and he caught it. Michael A. Taylor got his foot on the wall and catapulted himself up and may have taken a home run away from Kisner. Oh my goodness! Maybe the play of the year in center. Michael A. Taylor takes one away in one of the best plays you'll ever see. This ball smacked down towards center field. Eli White ranging back. He's at the wall. He leads. And he gets <laughs> wow! Unbelievable play as he steals a home run for D-Man Choi in front of the visitors' bullpen. Spectacular pitch climbing grab by Eli White. Turner drives one to center, chasing Nimmo back to the warning track right at the fence. He made the catch! Oh, wow! The catch of the year for Brandon Nimmo! He took a home run away from Justin Turner! Keeps the Mets in front in this game by bringing one back. Oh my goodness, what a catch! Brandon Nemo up near the wall in right center may have taken what would have been a game tying home run. In the air, deep right center field. And this one is caught! Oh. Randall Klitschik oh. takes a three run home from Corey Seager. <laughs> wow is right. <laughs> Caught by Gritchick, leaning over the wall. He snags a home run. That was in the bullpen. He jumped, timed it perfectly, and robbed the hitter, Corey Seager. Unbelievable catch. Lauer with a 1-2-3, bottom of the first inning. Here's a fly ball out to deep center. Davis back onto the track, reaching out, makes a catch in a full dive and then collides with the wall. He hangs on. Rosarena is racing around the bases just in case, but he held on to it. Davis is still down in pain, though. Oh, what a catch by Jonathan Davis. Still on a knee. I don't know how he made that catch. It took him all the way back to the wall. He had to reach almost behind him and flip around and make the catch. And now Jonathan Davis, he's going to stay in this game, and that is amazing that he is going to stay in this game. And with the right-hander on the mound, Scott Service going to his bench and calling on Cal. See if he can come up with a big double, maybe a home run. A drive feet to right field, down the line. The Mariners win this game 2-1. The dream lives. They're going to the playoffs. The drought is over. Cal Raleigh with a walk-off home run. How sweet it is. The Mariners end the 20-year drought on a walk-off home run by Cal Raleigh. One strike away. Not a soul in this place that doesn't know what's at stake. And here's the next delivery. It's chopped to short. This should do it to throw to first. It's a no-hitter. It's a no-hitter. In just his 11th major league start, pitches a no hitter. That's the 13th in Angels history. He's being mobbed by his teammates over by the first base area. A historical night tonight at the Big A. What a night for Reed Detmers, the youngster just 22 years old. Everything working tonight. What a night for Reed Detmers. And there's. Someone dressed as SpongeBob SquarePants because that's Oscar Gonzalez walk-up song. Here's Oscar Gonzalez. A swing and a high fly, deep left center field. It is gone. Hello, New York. Oscar Gonzalez sends the Guardians to the division series. A mob scene at home plate. A towering solo homer to left center. And the Yankees.
Rays are one out away from a two games to one lead. Oscar Gonzalez exactly one week ago sent Cleveland to this division series with a 15th inning walk off home run. Here it comes. A swing and a liner back up the middle base hit into center. Here comes Quan. Here comes Rosario. The Guardians win. Javier, who has gone from low-level prospect to a reliever in the majors, to John, one of the hottest pitchers in baseball, and a Game 4 starter, back-to-back -back K's against back-to-back all-star hitters. And he's 25 years old, pitching with a quiet and growing confidence. Nick Castellanos, Castellanos down swinging, and Christian Javier blowing his fastball by Phillies hitters. Another fastball to the knees. Five consecutive strikeouts for Javier. Reese Hoskins to the plate. Ground ball left side, right at Pena. Shortstop up with it, throws across in time. And Christian Javier absolutely masterful. Six no-hit innings, has struck out nine. And we're through six innings in game four of the World Series. And it's Brian Abreu. I mean, take your pick. You can pretty much close your eyes and point, and you're going to find some of the nasty stuff. Got him, strike three, waving at that 100 miles per hour. Two and two on Castellanos. Strikes out the side. The Astros in total control as we go to the eighth inning. It's Rafael Montero, the third pitcher of the game. Gene Segura, who's 0 for 2. Shoots one to right, that hangs up. And the Astros have eight no-hit innings. After it initially looked like it might drop, Astros pitchers Christian Javier, Brian Abreu, and Rafael Montero have combined for eight no-hit innings. Ryan Presley as good as they come out of the back end of the bullpen. Phillies down to their last out. Down 5-0 in game four. Real Muto. Bouncing ball to third. Picked by Brickman. for the Houston Astros as they flank the Philadelphia Phillies. This World Series is all square at two games apiece. And the Astros make history in the city of brotherly love. You don't think when Bryce Harper signed that mega deal to come here, he had visions of having a huge hit to send his team to the World Series? He's one win, and in this case, one swing, perhaps, from the World Series. Harper hits her in the air, left center field. Worth every penny of that contract. And a two out, two strike single by Jeremy Pena has set the stage here for Jordan Alvarez, one of the most feared hitters in the game. Alvarez launches deep right field, and this one is gone! And the Astros walk him off in game one! Jordan Alvarez! Are you kidding me? And Alvarez belts it deep to right field! Yes, this is mine! Unbelievable! The Astros will walk off with! Jordan Alvarez will walk off three run over! And the Astros stun the Mariners in game one of the division series! Incredible! The house of horrors for the Seattle Mariners continues! What an incredible finish! It's a game one of this American League Division Series. Jordan Alvarez, a three-run walk-off home run and a no-doubter. Jordan Alvarez on a 2-1. Alvarez It's a high drive center field. Veerling's back. This game is turned upside down. The Atlanta, the Atlanta, a three-run home run for Jordan Alvarez. And the Astros go up 3-1. What a shot. Bombs away for your dog once again. And it's madness in our house again. A 450 foot home run to straight away center field. He hit that over the batter's eye. Incredible. And Minute Maid from
Park is on fire. A titanic drive for the ages over the batter's eye in center field. And Jordan Alvarez has given the Astros a 3-1 lead in the sixth inning. Now it's Real Muto. The game one hero has been silent since. Fly ball right center field. McCormick on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Makes the grab. Taz McCormick. Two gone in the ninth. Oh, what a catch by McCormick. Crashing into the 13-foot high wall and deep right center field. Two outs. The catch, wow. of, the catch of his life for McCormick. Comes back to Philly, his hometown, and makes a wonderful catch. Boy, you dream of a catch like that in the World Series. Here, you run at full speed. You're trying to time it up. Yep. At the very top of your catch, you feel it hit your glove. What's going through your mind in that moment? Uh, I just can't believe I caught it. Uh, <laughs> it, it honestly, he hit it. He hit it perfect spot. I mean, I, I couldn't jump any higher. And when I caught that ball and fell down, I, I just remember the stadium being super quiet and, and uh, you know, some of my teammates suffering and hated it, being uh, super excited. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm just happy to play. And here comes Cabrera. Everybody on their feet here at Comerica Park. 1-1, ground ball, base hit in the right! 3,000 for Miguel Cabrera! Raises his arms, the Tigers' dugout empties! Oh, what an incredible journey from a skinny 15-year-old discovered on the dusty fields of Morakai to an icon in Motown. Miguel Cabrera, the pride of Venezuela, has joined one of the most exclusive clubs containing the best hitters in baseball history. 3,000 hits. The that'll bring up Aaron Judge, and they will change the baseballs. And the 3-2. Drill deep to left field. This could be it. See ya. He's done it. Number 61. He's been chasing history, and now he makes it. He and Roger Maris are tied with 61 home runs, the most anybody has ever hit in a single season in American League history. Well, Aaron Judge has been stuck at 61 since the Yankees were in Toronto. High fly ball, deep left. is 62nd, all the Yankees out of the dugout to greet him. Just think of it, three Yankee right fielders. The Babe hitting 60 and 27. The Jolly Roger hitting 61 and 61. And now Aaron Judge hits his 62nd home run, the most home runs any American leaguer has hit in a single season. This is Judgment Day. Case closed. Albert Pujols homered earlier tonight. It's one swing away from 700 career home runs. Pujols sets one in the air. It's deep to left. Taylor's back at the wall. And 700. Albert Pujols has joined the 700 home run club. Pujols hits a three-run homer. And he hit 699 and 700 at Dodger Stadium on September 23rd, 2022. Everybody in the ballpark is standing.